Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'll be reviewing everything that was covered in DevStream 64. Today we were joined by Victor Jandra, an environmental designer. He is one of the devs who plays a massive role in map creation. He personally did a large amount of work on Victorson, and has done some supportive work on all the other maps. Antonius, Dimostenos, and Pyrite were the other two devs who joined us. This dev stream mainly focuses on what insight Victor and Antonios can share with the community. So with really no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> to start off, they stated that the server maintenance that occurred yesterday fixed the headless outlander bug, and that there will be a booster apocalypse event this weekend where Elim boosters will be 33% cheaper. Chet then asked Victor a question regarding if there would be any consideration in changing existing POIs, to which he replied they don't intend on removing anything from any POIs, but perhaps adding something to them could be possible. Continuing with Victor's insight, he was asked how locations are decided for shootout in Ewan. He stated that the process is quite complicated, and that he, personally, prefers choosing locations that are more linear and straightforward with their sight lines, but that there also must be a lot of variation with these locations and some factors in these locations that make them appealing for an Elim or shootout map. A touch later in the stream, it was confirmed that Victor is currently working on a new map, which is some really exciting news. Moving on to Antonius, he is the guy who worked on the trailers that came out for this season and past seasons. He covered the process of making the trailer and what goes on into making them. The trailer for this season is quite good, and I intend on one day doing a lore analysis of it, so mad props to his work. A hilarious touch of feedback hit the dev stream as well. A player was complaining about the rad nades being too weak. I've already covered this topic extensively, and I find it more and more funny that as time passes on, the general community seems to be realizing the real lack of practicality that these items really have, and that the partners who swore these items would kill the game seem to be wrong. The devs continued on this topic with a talk of a tweak to iodine, which we have been hearing about over the last couple dev streams, and I'm assuming we're going to be getting with the next update. They then addressed the stupid knife concerns, stressing what should have been known, that knives are not a high priority compared to anything else in the game, and that they're going to have to be pushed back to when things are a lot calmer, with Pyrite saying, what if we scratched a major feature being updated just to fix the knives? Again, I feel like the community should have known this, but maybe, just maybe, this will finally kill the stupid buff knife statements that are just a constant throughout the community. He also stated that Ewim crates will be getting a XP added to them, to maybe as seen as a slight buff to them, kind of as a reaction to the overall clapback against Elim crates. Um, and they also issued a statement where they confirmed that there will be more new player onboarding updates in the future, to add on to really what we've already been getting over the last couple updates in that aspect. That's really all I've got for you guys today. This dev stream really did focus on Antonius and Victor's knowledge, and it was nice to see both of them talk about things. Yeah, a lot of information that simply wasn't known was covered, and I do appreciate that. But um, until next week, guys, see you all next time.